So what is going on guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how mowing lawns in the summer, a side hustle that I started at age 18, a senior in high school allowed me to save over $100,000. I'm going to break down how I started this side hustle. More importantly, how I was able to take the money that I was generating from this business, invest this money to grow wealth for myself, as well as some of the philosophies that I did that allowed me to start this business, grow this side hustle, make it a real business, and more importantly, how I was able to make great money off from mowing lawns as a teenager in the summer. So the first thing I want to jump into is a little bit of my story, guys. I didn't think that this would ever be a video that I was making, especially four years later after starting this business without any equipment, starting this business in the back of my dad's truck, not having a mower. And now today, four years later, having commercial equipment, having a real business, going out there, purchasing a new truck, and more importantly, having money that I've invested for my future self. Now, the first thing I want to jump into is kind of a little bit of a proof. Peter, I need a little bit of proof that you actually earn all this money. The first place that I started putting all my money was directly into the stock market. I'm going to touch on this in a second, how the stock market is a vehicle that I was able to use to start building wealth in my life. But as you can see right here, this is all money that I've made from growing and starting my lawn care business, my side hustle as a teenager. Right here, $70,000 nearly is all investing from going out there mowing grass. Now, the second big purchase that I made is this truck here that I have that allows me to run this business, that allowed me to grow my business. Now this truck here was $34,000 that I paid in cash, 100% debt free. And at the end of this video, I'm going to touch on a little bit of my debt strategies as well as what I did with the money that I was making, how I was able to scale, how I was able to make a lot of money with my lawn care business. So guys, a little bit of proof. Now we're going to jump into this video. So what I did, I took my dad's truck, my dad's mower, my dad's blower, and I started knocking on doors. I had zero customers my first year in business. I was tired of working for someone else, and I wanted to turn my first side hustle into a real business. So I went out there knocking on doors, getting some customers, putting this marketing appeal on Facebook, and then I started landing some business. So my first year in business, I remember going out there, I was working on a farm, putting posters in other people's mailboxes. I got my first customer, one of the greatest feelings. I began to start going out there making $100. $200 a day my first year in business. Now this took time for me. This took time for me to go out there knocking on doors, grinding after work, putting in all these hours. But guess what? I was making some money. So the first thing I did with my first $100, $200 that I made is I decided to ditch my dad's equipment and went ahead and invested into new equipment. So I bought a push mower Facebook marketplace. I bought a little weed whacker and I bought my own blower to get started on this journey. So the first year in my lawn care and landscaping business, the first time I de decided to grow this side hustle, I made $15,000 in just one summer. Now, this is more money that I was going to make as an 18 year old working, you know, a $12 minimum wage job, going out there working for someone else, working 40 hours a week. And more importantly, I realized that I was having a lot of flexibility within this business. So I had $15,000 made around in the first year of my business. Now, I never knew I could do this. I was probably mowing around 20 to 30 lawns my first year in business. But I found myself doing other things. I was doing gutter cleaning. I found myself doing landscaping jobs. I found myself even trapping raccoons. I found myself doing whatever I could to make money, which allowed me to land that $15,000. Now, this $15,000 was, was saved underneath my mattress. Of course, we had to do some legal things with this money as well. But hey, $15,000 is what I saved after this first business. Great little side hustle. I knew this was a great way for me to make money. So going into my freshman year of community college, this is where it all began to change. So I tore my ACL. I couldn't go to Division One school, and I had this small little business that I was started. I decided to grow this business while I was in community college. I decided to network, get more customers, put my name out there, start posting on Facebook, Instagram, and I started to build a small name for myself because going into the summer of my second year, I really began to get traction within my business. Now that I had my first trailer, now that I had a commercial mower, now that I had a push mower, now that I had all the equipment I needed, I decided to tackle this business. Now I had all the reoccurring business that I had from the first summer coming in in the second summer. I knew I was not getting a job. I love this. I wanted to grow this and more importantly I started to see some great results so customers were coming in I was marking myself on the next door app I was decisive I wanted to start this business and more importantly after the second year I grew nearly thirty thousand dollars I saved thirty thousand dollars after my first year now in this whole process what I'm doing with my money is very important I'm not spending my money I'm reinvesting it back into new equipment bought even a better trailer after my second year. I bought a new mower. I'm out there investing back into my business. Now, when you're 18, 19 years old, making $30,000 in three to four months, it's a great feeling. You have a lot of money building underneath your mattress. You have a lot of money saved. You have a lot of money coming into your business. But guess what? I did not spend this money. I decided that it was time for me to invest my money. That's exactly what I did. And I could not be making this video if I didn't do this with my money. I went out there and I began opening up a Robinhood brokerage account. I knew that I wanted to take the money that I was bringing in from this business and it was time to invest it for my future self. 
So what I did, $100, $200 every week was going into this Robinhood brokerage account. Anytime I had some extra money laying around, guess what? I began to invest it into the stock market. And sure enough, after the second year, my second summer, I had nearly $30,000 saved. I had a brokerage account that was just forming. And guess what? It was just time for me to go out there and buy a car. So rolling into my third summer, the second year in community college, this is where it all kind of changed. Through this process, I'm taking the profits that I generated, the money that I had in my life, and I'm continuing to invest in the stock market. I probably had $20,000 my sophomore year as a community college student invested in the stock market. I felt great, I was saving money, I knew I had the nest egg of cash with me as well, but this is where the business began to kind of grow and change. So the third year in business, I decided to buy my first truck on my own. I decided to go out there and not have any debt in my life. I had around thirty-five dollars to $38,000 saved, but I decided to go pay off my brand new truck. I paid $32,000 for it, paid it off with the help of my parents a little bit. They helped me with about $10,000 of that, so I had around $12,000 left in cash. I did it all, but I feel like my parents were there to support me as well. So I decided to buy my new truck. I decided to buy a new trailer, and now I am absolutely rocking it. This side hustle that I started with zero dollars, with my dad's equipment, well, guess what? It just turned into a real business. I'm out there grinding, growing. I have another helper in my third year, and guess what? We make over $50,000 in one summer in mowing lawns. We're doing around 50 to 60 lawns a week. We are crushing it. We're getting connected with commercial real estate properties. We're going out there doing landscaping. We're all running this small business for my small truck, a small trailer. We're just out here grinding. We're making around three to $500 every day my sophomore year in community college. And this is kind of where it all changed. So all the profit was coming in. Well, guess what? I began to invest. I began to invest back in the stock market. I began to invest back into my business. I had a paid off truck. Basically, all the money that was coming in through this business that I was generating was all profitable money. Now, taxes, all that comes at the end of the year, but I no longer had to pay for a truck. All I had to pay for is insurance. I didn't have to pay for more expenses. I didn't have to pay for a trailer. All my fixed expenses were already paid for. So I knew at the end of the year, at the end of the summer, I was able to make and save a lot of money. So it all came down to this. I was able to harvest a lot of money for my lawn care business. I was able to go out there, grind as a teenager, start building a business, start turning this side hustle into a business, generating 10, 20, 30, 40, even $50,000 worth of cash, worth of profits saved at the end of my third summer. And I continue to go out there and invest my money back into the stock market. I continue to invest my money back into equipment and I avoided debt. And lastly, guys, I lived very humbly. I lived with my parents. I kept my expenses low. I didn't buy a watch. I didn't buy fancy clothes. I didn't need anything in life. I was eager to save money. I put as much money as I could in the bank. I put as much money as I could into a brokerage account, into the stock market. I put as much money as I could into my mattress because I wanted to have some money that I could touch, feel, smell, and taste because I taste because I wanted to have that experience of having wealth in my life. Today, I can sit back and say that all the money that I was able to generate, all the money that I was able to make in college, going through the adversity of school, soccer, going out, dropping out of college, all came from me going out there and mowing lawns. I was a little kid with an ambition to go out there and start my business. I was that little kid, had a push mower, trying to make money at age 12, 13. When I was young, I didn't know how I could turn a side hustle into a real business, and this is exactly what I did. So sure enough, guys, I continued to take the money that was building in my businesses. I invested into the stock market, made nearly $30,000 in the stock market this year through returns on my investments, investing young, having compounding interest, grow my money. I was able to take all the money that I was also making to build back into my business, bought more equipment, living debt-free, having the opportunity to buy a nice little apartment for myself, having the opportunity to go out there and continue to scale this business, grow my first lawn and landscaping business. And now guys, I can look back and say, hey, damn, Peter, that little boy was able to save $100,000 from being smart with this money, from me going out there, push my lawns, and more importantly, guys, I don't want anyone to deter you when someone says you can't make great money mowing lawns. I didn't believe that this vision was actually going to be true, but over time, People fell in love with me. People fell in love with my service. Customers knew that I was starting to build a name for myself. And in this small community that I live in, into a small town of not a lot of people, I made a name for my lawn care and landscaping business. If you have the thought of, hey, there's too much competition. I don't know if I can do this. I'm kind of scared. Well, I want to give you guys some type of encouragement to go out there and start building. This lawn care journey has completely started to change my life, started to change my financial future. It's allowed me to invest a lot of money, save a lot of money, allowed me to start other businesses, and more importantly, it's just launched my journey of hopefully having freedom in my life one day. So today, we're still growing this business. Today, we are growing this business in the summer. Today, we are working on other opportunities, but this was a huge moment in my life. And I wanna say that this lawn care business, this landscaping, going out there, mowing lawns, making three to 500 to $800 a day as a teenager, 
I could have not done that anywhere else, I believe. I didn't have much knowledge. I didn't have much skills. But the one thing that I had was de determination, grit, and just an eager to make a money in my life. So that's kind of how I did it, guys. I hope I kept it very clear. But um, that's just the proof on what I did, kind of my journey. And I just want to help encourage you guys to start that lawn care business, start that milling business, start that, that landscaping business. There's so many opportunities if you're willing to get out there in the sweat. And the times when I was push mowing them lawns, sweating, like, why am I doing this? The times in 100, 100 degree heat, the times I'm out there carrying the wheelbarrow around with mulch, tired as hell, worn down, beat, exhausted from the day. I knew that I wanted something for myself. And I want to build a community of people that want to do something like that for themselves as well through investing through starting side hustles, through teen entrepreneurship, guys. I'm just sharing you my journey, hopefully walking you through what you can do to start building success in your life. We are just getting started in my life, but I can say I'm so grateful to reflect on my past, my past of starting this business that jump-started my opportunity to get me to where I am financially. Having $100,000 you know, in assets, just liquid assets, is a great feeling as well as a business that is generating that I have assets within the customer bases as well as investing in cryptocurrency as well as it's a lot of different things that I'm using my money through my lawn care business, landscaping business to build something for my future. So guys, so grateful. Thank you for tuning in. If you need anything, please hit me up. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful to make this video. I just want to help you guys do the same. Let's build wealth. Let's build success. And let's go out there and build something for ourselves together, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peter Roberts is out. Cheers.